Hi guys, or should I say girls? Um, today I'm going to do a review of the, as you can see in the title below, the hanky panky panties. Mm -hmm. So these are what they look like. And specifically, I'm going to review the bikini style. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! I do have the thongs from Hanky Panky, and I will talk about them a little bit later on. But this is the style that I prefer because um, I'm not too much of a thong girl. Um, but yeah, I'm a bikini girl. Safe and secure. Mm hmm so these are very pricey at least to me they are they are about 27 USD a panty so I got these on sale uh, from Amazon when they were 17 um, USD so I got a couple of these and I found kinda like a dupe for these if you are interested and they are from Forever 21 and they are basically like the same cut just with minor differences and yeah so the reason why I wanted to do this video was because I find it quite difficult to find um, like in-depth thorough panty reviews I know that you know panties are just panties why do you need to do a review on it but to me if I'm gonna spend 27 USD on this panty I would wanna read some kind of thorough reviews and because you can see me on the video and you can kind of imagine what you know it, it fits on me you can better gauge like if this is gonna suit you or not I really like this cut because it is a V cut in front so it slopes down and um, it is very very comfortable this particular cut it's not like a straight across so if you have a little tummy or a little bulge, it just sits nicely underneath it. <laughs> yeah. And then as you can see, um, the back part of it, it curves in. So it kind of grabs your bottom pretty well. And the bottom part, the gusset, the cotton gusset area is very well made. It is sewn down to the lace. So I've washed this quite a few times and it has not lost its shape. The elasticity of it is still great and it is overall a very very well made panty. Now for the Forever 21 dupes, which look like this, um, the back is straight cut but the front does have a V shape to it. So not as deep as the bikini one but uh, not as deep as the hanky panky one but still substantial enough. As you can see, um, it also curves in a little bit, but not as much um, as the Hanky Panky version. So this one, if you have a very um, bootylicious butt, it's not going to cover you completely. It has a little bit less material um, on the back. And if you compare the cotton portion, it is not sewn down. So over time, in the machine wash, um, I think this part would, you know, kind of get, I don't know, it's at risk, you know, to fray, to anything. So I've washed this many times as well, and overall, um, the elasticity of it is still great, but I would say the lace of it is not as soft. Um, the lace on the hanky-panky ones are a bit more soft like you can feel the cotton bit of it a bit more compared to the Forever 21 version when I wear the Forever 21 version I feel a bit more of the mesh than the cotton part of the lace so in terms of comfort definitely the hanky panky ones but if you're not fussy seriously either of them will work well like if your skin is not super sensitive then seriously you don't really feel much of a difference like the Forever 21 ones they don't itch um, but like I said if you have a huge booty then if you kinda get a slight wedgie then it will perhaps cause a little bit of discomfort so that's that but in terms of price the Forever 21 ones are super cheap as you know um, I got five of these for 15 USD 
so that is like <laughs> I got five of these for not even you know the price of this one and I got this on a discount so that's a huge price um, jump so that's that so I hope my review of the bikini is uh, sufficient for you to make a decision I'm gonna move on to the thongs from Hanky Panky right now now these thongs I picked up from the outlet and they I believe they still have a selection of thongs online on the outlet if you're interested so they come in the high-rise which is like that and they also have a low-rise version so in comparison let me just put them Together, you can see the high rise and the low rise. Uh, to me, I'm okay with both rises. I know, you know, some people prefer the high rise, some people prefer the low rise. I don't mind. To me, they are about the same. <laughs> so obviously, if you are wearing a pair of low rise jeans, you would want to go for the low rise thongs. Now, the great thing about these thongs are that at the back, the thong part. Um, you still have quite a bit of material it's not as if it's like a string thong which I hate because that would be a definite wedgie and I've tried a few other um, thongs before and I definitely agree with um, what many people say these are by far the most comfortable ones at least you still have a sense that you're wearing a thong but it's not uncomfortable you know it's not like Oh, I have a wedgie, I have a wedgie, I have a wedgie, no. And I know that these come in one size only, which doesn't make sense because we are all, you know, we're, we're not one size. <laughs> but these fit me perfectly well. I mean, I think because of the stretch, I got these for £10 each on the outnet. And um, the ones that are on the outnet are all these ridiculous prints, like with leopard print and tartan print. And like neon colors if you want to get the very plain basic ones they're not on outlet I think you have to pay full price for them lastly I wanted to give a shout out to my favorite panty of all time <laughs> I mean I only went into uh, the lace panties because I thought they looked pretty cute and you know now that I'm pregnant I just wanted to wear underwear that made me feel a little bit more flirty and girly but truth be told, the Calvin Klein metallic chrome band um, panties, these are hands down the most comfortable underwear that I have ever tried. These are the basic ones. They come with this chrome band here and they are the nylon, not the cotton, the nylon version. And these are just so comfortable. I mean, I have never worn a better underwear than this one they hug your butt perfectly you know when you put them on they're so cooling you don't even feel them this band here is very deceiving um, it's not tight at all you don't even feel it <sighs> seriously I cannot rave enough about these underwear okay so that's all I have to say about panties today I hope <laughs> this video would be useful to anyone who's considering buying panties so if you have any further questions leave them down below if they are not too personal I'll try to answer them <laughs> yep okay so thank you so much for watching please follow me on Instagram if you're not and uh, keep watching my videos and subscribe if you're not okay so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye bye